we all need to remember that the only reason we exist as a company is our innovation mission. That's our raison d'etre, our reason of existence. And when we talk innovation, we should not just think about people in white lab coats somewhere at the lab bench. Actually, we try to innovate every step of the way. We innovate the way we design clinical trials. Remember, the ADAPT trial was co-created with patients. Remember that uh, MG United was co-created with the patient community. We even co-create with the payer um, when we, for example, installed the value-based agreements uh, when we launched uh, the product the first time. So think innovation every step of the way. Everyone can do it. And that's the joint mission of the company. And here's the challenge. When we continue to grow this company, when we continue to scale this company into its global footprint, we should never lose sight of the innovation mission. One of the key building blocks of building out a strongly performing scientific organization is a trust relation, daring to challenge each other's ideas, because at that moment you will bring the ideas to a next level. At the beginning of our Genix, we were a group of scientists which were uh, having an innovative spirit, which, who were open to, this, to seeing the surprise and who were collaborative. And I think we want to keep these values close to our hearts going further. We keep biology central in everything which we do. We keep on working together with experts in that biology. We're not going to give in on that. What I wish people understood about rare disease is how difficult it is to get a drug to market. From the work in the lab to develop the medication to the clinical trial in identifying those patients who are often one in a million or one in a hundred thousand to get them into the trial and then to get that drug to the date of approval. There are a lot of long days, long nights, long hours that go into working at biotech. But what makes it all worth it is when you hear the story of a patient who's received your therapy and how that therapy has changed their life. For what we do in corporate development, the perspective of the patient is still key. Examples of questions that we work on is which indications do we prioritize and work on? And having a key understanding of what is the need of the patients and how our innovations can contribute to their benefit better than other TRPs they already have is central in answering this question. I don't think there is simple building blocks. I mean, innovation is not a line from A to B. It requires a certain agility to, to based on new data, new insights, change your mind and revisit your assumptions. So ultimately, it requires a, a mindset to continue to challenge and adapt your assumptions. Uh, and based on that, uh, set a course and stay the course, uh, but to be open to change your direction when it's needed.